Hey everyone, so I know a lot of you guys are thinking about moving to Mexico, uh, thinking about buying property here in Mexico. So what we're gonna do today on today's video, we're gonna go down to Lake Chapala and the fine people at Lake Chapala Real Estate are going to show us a house that you can buy in Lake Chapala. So let's go. Well, it's a beautiful exterior. It's been very, very nice, yeah, in the corner of house. So uh, do a fist bump for COVID. Right. <laughs> it's a really beautiful place, yeah. And one of the best neighborhoods here too. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, I was thinking about Lake Chapala. Yeah. What do, what can you tell me about the neighborhood? I was thinking while I was driving in, it was looked really nice. Yeah, Chula Vista is one of the oldest neighborhoods here in San Antonio. Um, it's uh, as you can see, gently sloping, so you have some lake view. Yeah. Uh, from some of the homes. This is an older home, uh, probably back in uh, the 80s. It was built. Okay. So and many of the homes here, are like uh, from the 80s, 90s, you know, so 40, 50 years old. And we're in Ajijic right now. We're in Ajijic, yes. We're just uh, actually in San Antonio, to be more technical. Okay, is that a different town? It is, just to the uh, east of, San, of Ajijic. Okay. We have San Antonio, and uh, then a little bit further east is Chapala. Okay, yeah, but, but all this is inside the municipality of Chapala. Is that, that is right? correct, yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Well, great. Well, let's maybe check out the house. Great, super. Come on in. Thanks. And thanks for uh, showing me the house. Oh, you're more than welcome. So it's a beautiful entrance. Do these uh, do these come with the house or everything comes with negotiable? The house, yes. Okay, every, yeah. furniture. It's furnished. It's furnished. This one's furnished. Nice. Yeah, we have a furniture package. So. Well, yeah, it's beautiful. I love this entrance. Quite grand, isn't it? Yeah. Very bright. Yeah, we have lots of skylights in this home, so it is a very bright home. And even the art comes with the house. Uh, some pieces do. Some pieces do. Mm -hmm. And it was 389? Uh, 387. 387, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is great. And so it's yeah. three, three, three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. Hi, are you Michaela? I am Michaela. Michaela. Nice yeah. to meet you. <laughs> Good to meet you. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much for showing me the place. Oh, it's a pleasure. Uh, are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Good to meet you. Yeah. Let uh, Michaela take you around and show you the home. Okay. Great, yeah, thank you. Well, so it's, it's beautiful, I mean, yeah. It's a gorgeous home and it's lock and leave, which is what appeals to the current owners because they are Canadian snowbirds. So they only use the house five months out of the year, six months out of the year, depending on how long they can stay. So it is a perfect condo style home. You have the best of both worlds. You can have a garden, you can have your own plants, and you have the possibility to entertain lots of friends. It's quite a large house, three bedrooms, three baths, 3,000 square feet of construction yeah. and 4,200 square feet of lot. Okay. It's also a corner lot, which yeah, makes it I very saw that. nice. It's very nice, right? yeah. So over there we have a garage. We'll take you through there a little bit later. Sure. Um, it has some characteristics. And so you don't have to live in the property full time. I imagine a lot of your clients are, are snowbirds. They come part of the year go exactly. back to Canada or Portland exactly. where I was living before and uh, enjoy the winters down here. Exactly and sometimes they rent it to friends. For example there are people who have permanent homes along the ocean and it gets so dreadfully hot and humid there so yeah. people would like yeah. an escape. Yeah. And this is the perfect climate all year round. Yeah. That's why we are both living here. Yeah. No, I've been here for yeah. over 10 years now. So. Okay. I, I've Where are you seen, from originally? I was born in Romania. Oh, cool. And Canadian, 27 years. After that, I decided I can't deal with the cold anymore. So here I am. Yeah. And it was the best move I've made yet. I've made a few moves in my life. And the best still because I met Ricardo here. So <laughs> <laughs> good. It's a wonderful place to yeah. live and uh, to be year-round if you wanted to. Yeah. But many people who are older, who live here, they would like to maintain their benefits, um, medical benefits mm -hmm. in Canada right. or even the U.S. Yeah. So whatever those requirements are, they oblige. Yeah. So they stay here part-time. Yeah. Well, it's beautiful. I mean, I live in Guadalajara, so the weather, I imagine, is pretty much the same as Guadalajara. It seems Guadalajara gets a little bit more rain, which I'm, I'm envious about, <laughs> but I wouldn't 
Train. Well, I've been driving in and it's all green. I haven't been in a few months, so it's it's really pretty. It's beautiful. And it almost Every... always rains at night, and during yeah. the day we have sunshine. Right. Yeah. Today. Yeah. So it doesn't great. get any Perfect. better than this, yeah. in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe let's check out the house if we could. Please. It looks beautiful right off the bat. I I love it. And it's only... a great open concept with high ceilings with nice flow. Yeah, and kind of speaking about the weather, I imagine you can just leave the patio doors open year-round and you don't really Absolutely. need to run an AC. Absolutely. And the current owners, they have a lot of friends here having lived here or having been um, snowbirds here for two decades, I believe. So they entertain a lot of people when they're here. Yeah. So they've added that awning to the terrace which expands their living space tremendously. So they told us they would have a hundred people here sometime. Mm. It's all about friendships here and about having a nice relaxing time. And who doesn't want to live that way, especially if you're a retiree. Yeah. yeah. So, well, I do. I'm not a retiree, but I do. <laughs> yeah, and it's good. It's wonderful. We, but we yeah. still enjoy the time that we have. Yeah. Very, very much. So please come along and we'll point and it's wonderful to speak English again. I don't usually, in my day to day, I don't speak English, so this is like therapeutic for me almost. <laughs> <laughs> it was therapeutic to, for me to reply to you in English, knowing that you do speak English, but I also speak Spanish. So we work with clients, both natives to Mexico and foreigners. Good. And by the way, Ricardo is a whiz at maintaining our website and providing a lot of information about the area and about all aspects of purchasing property here and all in kinds of information that people have asked for over the years. So if anyone is interested, please check out our retire in lakechapala.net. Great, and I'll put that in the links below. And I looked at the website and it was a very nice website. It is very yeah. comprehensive. He Sounds has great. a lot yeah. of writings there yeah. with any topics. And if any topic is not covered, please just drop us a note and I'm sure Ricardo will take care of it. <laughs> yeah. So back to the house. This is a lovely feature. The owners were very particular about incorporating some, I will call them Mexican designs into their mm -hmm. um, home, their architecture. You've already noticed the arches, I'm sure, upon entry. Right, yeah. This is a fireplace, and these curvy, beautiful flowing lines are specific to Mexico, yeah, yeah. but more so even to, to this area. Most people have fireplaces here, but most often they are decorative only or used very seldom. And many of them are gas ignition or they function with gas. So if you do turn them on a few times a year, it would probably be mostly December and January. And after that, it's always brilliant, beautiful and warm. So at night, it's kind of nice to have a cozy yeah. fire, even yeah. if it's just for ambience. No, it's very nice. Good. Yeah, I like that so, a lot. So beautiful feature to have in a house. And then the skylights. Skylights, Perfect. they add a lot of light. So we did turn some lights on just to show that we have lights. But really, in this <laughs> yeah. house, you don't really Are those speakers them. I see? Is it those surround sound or exactly. music? Entertaining? That's right. Entertaining. Like I said, the owners really enjoyed entertaining. So they made sure that everything is covered. <laughs> and then the terrace, which as I said, they amplify. And the sliding doors basically enlarge your living space incredibly. So you can fit as much company in here as you feel like fitting. These days, I guess less company, but we still get together in small groups. Four or six people for an evening together. And then they have the awning, which extends all the way to the fence. And they have another awning that can be installed over there. So if somebody, say, would not need as much entertaining space and not as much tile space, they could easily take out these tiles but to, to get a garden, to plant a garden. And everything grows here so quickly. In a year, you would have a magnificent little garden. Yeah. But if someone wants easy care, like the current owners do, then um, you can leave the tiles on. So back inside, like, let's look at the bedrooms. It's a three bedroom. It's a three bedroom, three full bathrooms. And over the years, the owners have changed this and that, but not being here full time, they always do 
whatever, you know, people just love to keep busy here too, mm -hmm. because when you're retired, there are only so many parties that you can attend. So at other times they seem to love to improve their homes and this home is very well cared for and maintained. Um, this is their living space with a TV and also their bedroom. Another fireplace. And another fireplace, of course. And the bathroom, they've incorporated some uh, Mexican designs uh -huh. in there. Too. So why are the owners selling, if, 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 I, if you don't mind me asking? Not at all. They're in their 80s and they're amazing people, actually, in fantastic shape. But um, I think they're a little bit tired of driving because... They drive from Canada and back every year. Wow. Can you imagine being in your 80s and still driving? It's tough on me. <laughs> exactly, me too. And I don't like to sit in the car for so many hours, so I really respect people who do that. Yeah. But it's getting too much for them. That's the only reason. Yeah, okay. And the walk-in closet, they've created it. Okay, very nice. Good. Yeah. I think all, all of my clothes could probably fit right there. <laughs> you and Ricardo lot. both. <laughs> but leave it to us women, we have more. <laughs> That's the only cloth that's facing a lot. <laughs> that's true, yeah. There is a lot of storage here. So they created um, good carpentry work to create storage spaces. Uh -huh. And they've added more with their choice of furniture. Uh -huh. so, I love that chandelier. That's a beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? It comes either from Pake Pake or Tonala. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice. And they added that one over there too, which serves as yeah. a reading lamp as well. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. So what are the property taxes like here? And I saw, maybe you could talk about that a little bit, the property. They are so insignificant. I can say I can use that word. Because when I left Canada over 10 years ago for a small house in a good neighborhood, I was paying uh, $300 every month, so $3,600 a year. This property, as you see it, um, every year it might change a bit, but for this property, last year they paid less than 5,000 pesos. So that's $250 for the whole year. Mm -hmm, $50 US for the whole year. Now, there are some uh, condo fees in this area or home ownership fees because in the community of Chula Vista, the owners have decided to get together and pay a little bit of uh, money to have better water quality. They have their own wells, they have garbage removal, they have street lighting. So they get these services included in their small again HOA yeah. fees. and that's pretty typical i think in guadalajara as well with exactly. the different colonias that you're living in you'll pay a small fee to exactly the colonia and yeah. because this particular colonia or suburb, and it's minimal it's like it's, 80 dollars a quarter or something i saw on the website. yes it could be more or less depending on whether you use a lot of water or not so one of the most expensive part of your hoa fees here in chula vista are your water fees and they are charged quarterly and it all depends on how good you are to economize the water. So that's one reason, in my opinion, not to plant grass. But if someone needs some grass for a little dog, or I guess that's another matter. But uh, generally, we try to be mindful of how we use water and how much we use so that we conserve this precious resource because mm -hmm. it is precious everywhere in the world now, not just here in Mexico. It's a little more arid because we have so many months of hot, Dry. weather yeah. dry hot weather where we don't get any water from the clouds so <laughs> but um, still very affordable i mean eighty dollars a quarter yeah that's fabulous. absolutely their fees uh, quarterly fees are uh, or let's call it monthly fees are approximately 700 pesos so 35 dollars yeah. a month it's great yeah so more than affordable some colonias pay a little more because they have 24 7 gated security but here it's not necessary. The house is, nobody's living here, but uh, it is perfectly secure because the current owners have decided to add the protections in the window, the iron protections, which are also decorative here. So lucky us to have such great iron workers who can create anything we want, basically. Yeah, yeah, and I think probably some of the viewers probably have on their minds about security in Mexico, and I, I don't talk about it much in my videos, but I made comment on one in the video, 
um, one video about it. But I think here in Chapala, that's, it's very secure. It's, it's security's not very much of an issue at all. Maybe you have some home security just like you would in Canada or the U.S., but but, it's, but here in Chapala, I don't think security is very much of an issue at no, all. No, it's not. And we all add as many layers of securities as we feel comfortable with. You may see some houses have the electric fences, mm -hmm. which are pretty much invisible. Um, it doesn't cost anything to maintain, you just other than the original investment cost, which again is minor. Uh, so you can start with that. Then protections in the windows or no protections. And really, um, people who break in here, they're not looking to harm anyone. It's a terrible thing to happen, if it does happen. But what people are generally looking for is money, electronics, and uh, what else, jewelry. So if anybody is interested in breaking in, I'm sure they could probably find a way. But I think also people who are professional thieves, let's call them that, are few and far between here. And they're also concerned with the neighbors because in Mexico, we all stick together. Neighbor protects neighbor and they know if their neighbor is away for the summer or yeah. so they look in or they look around and they have the vecinos um, vigilantes, vigilantes mm -hmm. also, so they have the organization that is common to almost every area here now. Great, yeah. So we look yeah. after each other and then we protect our home, everybody in their own most comfortable way. So uh, as somebody who would be interested in breaking in here would probably know that there is not a great deal of value here. So that might be another thing to watch for is like if you are here only part time, perhaps not leave valuables. That, sure. But that's yeah. just common sense and common it's sense, everywhere yeah. in the world. By the way, we have uh, friends moving here from Houston, Texas. They've lived in Houston for decades and um, we are closing next week for their new home here. And he said, could we delay the closing because we cannot come next week? And uh, we asked why. And he said, uh, well, if we were to leave our house in Houston unattended with nobody living there for two weeks, they would be breaking in the second or third day after they learned that we we're not there. So I said, wow, I cannot believe that. Here in Mexico, you don't have to worry about that. So yeah. he is no longer concerned about closing two weeks before he comes. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> Okay. So please come in, Flake, and this is the guest bedroom. So lucky guests who can spend some time in the winter here. Very good, yeah. Nice. With the owners, they will have their own full bathrooms for the okay. walk-in shower. Or you could do an office here if you wanted. Or, or you can do an office, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the Mexican motif again, which I like very much. Very nice. And also the high ceilings, which is lovely. And then speaking of security, we can see that it would be quite a challenge for somebody to break in over that fence. Right, yeah. So it is well thought out, yet not intrusive, the layer of security. That yeah, it's nice, it's set. nice, it's well done. Exactly. Yeah. And perhaps we could visit the third bedroom over here, which the current owners are using as an office at times. And it's all on one level. It's all on one level, Great. that's right. So no, not to be concerned for people who might be concerned about uh, living here, there are a lot of one level properties because many people say, well, I'm retired, I'm getting older, my knees are bothering me, etc. So I want to climb stairs. If this is not the house for you, there are other houses that have Fantastic feature, something for everybody, and yeah. including a lot of one level. Right, homes. yeah, and I wanted to mention that this isn't the only house that you manage. You have no, lots of different homes. We have lots of different houses, some with extraordinary views, some without views, some smaller, some easy care, some with large gardens. So, like I said, there is something for everybody. Some with pools, some without, with hot tubs. Yeah, Everybody and so this is, is three eighty seven, was it right? Yes. How does that kind of fit into the budget in in Chapala or Ahihik? Is that on the higher end, middle end? It's more middle to low, I would say, for this quality home. I mean, you always get what you pay for, right? If one wants a thousand square foot condominium, you can find that, and you might pay one hundred and fifty thousand up to two hundred. If you wanted something a little more for a family or family and friends, visitors, then 
you're looking between 250 and maybe 400 at the medium range. And then we have a lot higher priced high-end property, lux luxury estates here too. And some of them, even though they cost a million dollars, one just sold a couple weeks ago. It only two, took two days oh, on yes. the multiple listing system. So uh, now there is the current of people moving here from congested cities and some people with means who are buying million dollar properties because they love to be out with fresh air in the countryside, so to speak, or in a village like Ahik, where there are so many conveniences, so many restaurants and shops, and so close to Guadalajara. I personally appreciate Guadalajara very much, but I wouldn't want to live there. And I think most of the population here feels Just the, the same. same. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a lot less noise, a lot less pollution in a smaller city. And we still have all the conveniences. Well, many that you have in Guam. Yeah. And if we and want you'll have to... a lot of small restaurants, cafes that are very popular. Everything. Yeah. You and can, then you so have much the to malls. Do. If we want a day at the mall, we can go to Guam. Go to <laughs> and then come back to Ahi. <laughs> and then come the same back. day. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or stay there overnight oh. and enjoy another day or whatever shopping or sightseeing. Yeah. So uh, back to the third bedroom. This is a uh, Murphy bed. Oh, okay. And um, here they had the desk. But when you're 80 some years old, you probably want as much as little time at a desk as possible in front of the computer. Yeah. So uh, I don't think they spend much time in an office setting. But yes, this would make an excellent office or the other one. Yeah, good. So now the. Uh, piece that everybody loves. Well, this, uh, yeah, go yes, ahead. I'm go sorry. Ahead. No. Well, no, I'm sorry. I just wanted to, you had mentioned about the water and this reminds me about, of the water. You had mentioned something about the water quality being a little better in this yes. neighborhood. So is, is the water drinkable from the tap? The water, um, as far as I know, is drinkable from the tap, but most people choose not to drink it still. So either they have one of these mm -hmm. and they get those big garrafones, mm -hmm. those Big yeah, 20 big liter water 20 containers. Gallon garrafons, yeah. Yes. And so that topple that over and then they have purified water from the container. And um, then there are services that will bring that in for you. We'll put it on the absolutely. Uh, dispenser for you. Absolutely. Very for easy. just maybe 10, 20 pesos, they will even put it on for you. A dollar or two. You don't want to yeah. handle it. Exactly. Perfect. And some of us who are a little lazier with the containers, we choose to have reverse osmosis filtration okay. underneath the That's what the I have sink. in my place. Yeah. yeah. It's very convenient, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. That's easy to there. install, easy to purchase. You can have it shipped from the U.S. or you can buy it here. Amazon.com. Mexico simplified our lives here tremendously. So that's where we bought ours from. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great thing. I have one at my place and... It's just, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. It's one of the reasons I, I live there, actually. Is that right? <laughs> just so I don't have to cart in that water thing. <laughs> Keeps you strong, it but does. who wants to do that all the yeah, time? No. I exercise in other ways. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So here we have a nice island with a high-quality stove. Yep. And we have a high-quality refrigerator, which is not even working at the time, at this time, because why use it? Why use electricity if you don't have to? And uh, we love our kitchens. I mean, it's still a focal point in every house here, even though some of us are too lazy to cook and we prefer takeouts. And mm. Nice to have a nice kitchen. Nice to have a nice kitchen. And we could also get help in the kitchen from the same ladies who might help us clean the house. Yeah. Most of them also love to cook, so they will be more than happy to come and help cook for a party or serve at a party or both and then clean up after and done. Our work is easy. <laughs> Good. And what's out here? Is this a little uh, other patio? Out here is the garage. Okay, so that's great. You have a so secure parking. It affords us to have the beautiful entrance off the street, very classy, that you where you came in from. And then if you'd like to walk, you can walk around back here. Or you can drive into here. And these um, doors are automatic. There is the motor for them operated with just a remote control. That's nice. Yeah. Press to open and leave and press to close. Over there we have laundry. Okay. 
conveniently located outside so that when someone else does laundry for you, you don't have to hear the machines inside. Yeah. <laughs> and nor will you generate heat in, indoors. Yeah. Not right. that they do generate a lot of heat. And as I mentioned earlier, the owners decided to pave the entire area because it's easy maintenance, easy care. And here we are, they have a second refrigerator which they use mostly before um, they purchase everything for a big get-together. And the water heaters, one of them passed the refrigerator. They have two in this house because, as I said, we're all mindful of using water. So um, when we turn the shower on, the closer the water heater is to the shower, the less water we use to, we have to run to get hot water. So they have one close to the kitchen where it's used a lot. They have one uh, close to the master bedroom where again it's used more. Well, great. And well, of course yes. the fire... Oh, That's sorry. the water heater, heater here. Exactly. That's right. Good. And barbecue, because who doesn't want to have a barbecue? Even I can prepare a barbecue with Ricardo's help once in a while. <laughs> Well, that's pretty. Uh, well, tell me again what your uh, website is and how can people could contact you if they're interested in buying a house or thinking about. I'm sure you can you can help people if they're thinking about moving to Chapala, buying property. Do you also do rental properties? With anything they need, our work with clients doesn't just stop at buying a house, and we help people transition easily. That's truly our motto. So anything they need, if they want to make renovations to a property we recommend um, builders for them to contact if they need a reverse osmosis filter installed under the sink we know the plumber we know where they can buy it if they need to open bank accounts we can tell them where to go and what the fees are like i said absolutely anything that it takes to live here comfortably and easily we can help them achieve so your go-to source go-to source yes beyond just buying a home and how would people contact you with uh, through the internet do you have uh, a phone number you'd like to leave and i'll put your email of down of course we have all of that so the um website again is retire in lake chapala.net i'll put that below yep thank you so much and then we have phone numbers and they can contact us through the contact us Town. Great, yes. And um, they can contact us through the MLS. The Chapala MLS.net is another fabulous resource where people can, you know, look around to see what properties are available, price ranges. We even uh, guide them if they, you know, couldn't find their way around so well. We're happy to take a phone call or make a phone call because it's free for us to call basically anywhere in the world. So we can help them do searches and walk them through the steps necessary for them to find what they're looking for. Okay. So many ways to contact us. Some people do write to us because we have our properties listed, such as this one. And there is a button there to click and ask more information about the property. So we are contacted in that way sometime or um, we are referred. We have a lot of clients refer us their friends and acquaintances when they come here. Because in addition to, like I said, selling home and helping them transition with all the information they need, we love offering tours of this area so they can get an overall idea what the area is all about and be acquainted with the different communities. Maybe I'll let Ricardo speak about the tours because he um, absolutely loves to meet people and be the first one to introduce them to the community. Okay. You know, well, for anyone who hasn't been here before, if you're just a visitor, uh, we'll do a tour. It's basically about two hours long, encompassing from Chapala to uh, San Juan Cosala. And that really encompasses about 80% of where most of the expats will reside. So, and if you want more information on other areas that are outlying, like Cotopec or uh, east of Chapala, we're certainly welcome to take you out there too. So, anything you a need. A nice for overview of the whole area. Exactly, yeah. That's you know what's really interesting because people are always amazed at. at uh, what a diversity there is here. They're, they just don't realize that there's more to Ahiik than just Ahiik. And once they start to see all the different neighborhoods and all the different housing options, they're quite amazed. So. Well, yeah, so they're your go-to source. So I, I really appreciate y'all showing me the place. 
It and, was um, a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, if you need help finding a property in Ajijic, Chapala area, like they said, just just contact Michaela or Ri Ricardo. Ricardo. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it would be Richard from Vancouver, but he's a Mexican now, so he's Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And to you, thank you for taking the time to visit with us, Blake. My pleasure. Thank pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you.